Also tonight, a new initiative designed to make a fun educational experience more accessible is now dividing some members of our community. The Buffalo Zoo rolled out a new program just last week called Zoo for All, allowing low-income families the opportunity to enjoy the space at affordable prices. Some members of the Erie County Legislature are calling the zoo out though, stating the new initiative eliminates affordability for most middle-class families. Our senior reporter Eileen Buckley giving a voice to some Erie County lawmakers and the zoo's president learning how these price adjustments will affect families. Raising prices by 67% in some cases and 33% in others is crazy. I, I think it should be fair across the board that anyone should be able to go there and, and pay the same price. Members of the Erie County Legislature's Republican Minority Caucus are sounding off against the Buffalo Zoo's new rate structure. They sent this letter to the leader of the Buffalo Zoo, critical of its new Zoo for All program, aimed at giving more access for lower income families. This group would pay only $5 a ticket, but at the same time, prices for everyone else are increasing to $21.95 for an adult and $15.95 for your kid. Prices, the Republicans say, are too expensive for many in the middle class. What are you hearing from constituents? They're upset. You know, they, they know that we've given funds, $2 million last year. Uh, they also get state funds they're getting, you know, even federal funds from what I found out. And I think it's time that maybe the zoo should open up their books. People are shocked. You know, people, I've heard from a lot of people that they like to go to the zoo for, with their younger children for an hour or two. It's simply unaffordable at these rates. I just encourage them to look at all the different options. If they're in Erie County, then they can get the library card discount by just going and getting that free opportunity. Zoo President Lisa Smith says the zoo only receives 20% of its operating budget from the government, including Erie County. That means 80% of its budget is generated from admissions, parking, rides, and donors. Smith says the cost to operate keeps increasing. Are you worried about the backlash from the public? Of course. The community is so important to us, and we want everybody to find a price point that works for them. That's why in our in-season pricing, Tuesdays are still remaining the off-season price. So we're trying to accommodate everybody still even in the nice weather. Smith says she hopes this won't jeopardize future funding, but won't repeal the increase. Now zoo goers decline to comment, but one man told me he is a member and supports anything that will help the zoo. Legislature Chairwoman April Baskin issued a written statement saying in part the response from Republican lawmakers is, quote, a disappointment. Now, Republican lawmakers tell me that they're hoping to hear from zoo officials on this matter. In Buffalo, Eileen Buckley, 7 News.